Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Old MacDonald had a farm and today we're going to visit it. If you look at the table, you'll see the farm animals and notice that they're all standing up. We're going to see how to make a flat shape become dimensional so it will stand up. Then to go with those farm animals, we also have a barn. I'll bring it over. Now this die is actually created so that it can become dimensional. All of the perforations for folding and assembling are part of the design of the die. But the animals themselves are right over here. Let me show you. We'll start with the pig. And notice it has the pig and the chick both on one die. And then next to that, there's the cow. And of course, the kids are going to go back through and they'll add whatever color with a black marker or a black crayon and add the pink and the black or whatever detail that they want. The same is true for the sheep. Even to add what looks like curlies, I've just taken a white pen and added some detail. So even white on white can happen. A white crayon works as well. And then from the sheep, if we go to the horse, Notice that the horse has a mane and all kinds of cool detail. This is actually the one we're going to make today. Now to make them stand up, it's really a question of folding. So if I take paper that is long to begin with and I fold it in half, and then I want a pleat that is, I don't know, about half an inch. So I'm going to fold again while the layers are together another half inch. I need to reverse. I'm going to bring this like this, and I'm going to reverse this mountain fold right here into a valley fold. This is the fastest way that you can actually get one accordion pleat right in the middle of your design. So you have just one pleat. Once you have that set up, then you want to place the pleat so it's at the bottom of the design. So if you look at the horse, you can see his feet are way down here. So I'm going to place the pleat so that it stops just short of the blade that's at the very base of the design of that die. And then I just go ahead and I cut it in the machine just the way you would normally cut. Place one of the cutting pads on top, place the other cutting pad on the bottom, and then just roll it through. You can see how the, the fold or the pleat that was at the bottom, when I open it up, look at that. Then all I need to do is add the details. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive along his head and along the top right about where the mane is. And then when I line these up, this will make the top part stay together. So I'm going to just press. And now you have something dimensional. Then by cutting some of the other details in another color, I'll go back and I'll add the mane of the horse in this lighter shade. And I've just used the perforations so I could see where to cut. I've done the same thing with the face. You can see I've even placed a little bit of pink so that it will show through where the holes are for the nostrils. Let me use my tweezers so my hands are out of the way. And once again, I can just line this up with the die design in brown that sits right below it. And look at how fun, how quick and easy. You can make all these things so that they'll stand up. You know, these farm animals, they're perfect for cutting with a bottom fold to make them stand up and stand out. <laughs>